Steve here with you through until 3 o'clock this afternoon. And regular listeners to the show will know between 1 and 2 we try and bring somebody in the studio to have a little chat from different walks of life here in Phuket. And I've been really looking forward to this since uh, since the uh, initial email we exchanged a couple of weeks ago and now it's come round to getting this guy into the studio. And he's got a lot to say and I know you're going to enjoy the next 45 minutes or so as we talk to Peter Razor Slade, who's here in the studio in Phuket's Live 89.5. Thank you for joining us today, Peter. It's good to have you in the studio. Thank you, Steve. I look forward to it. All right. So let me just start from the very beginning, because, Peter, you've actually brought out this book, which is a memoir. It's called Razor's Edge, quite appropriately. Uh, before we actually talk about the book, tell us a little bit more about yourself. Well, most uh, listeners will probably pick up on my accent. I'm an Australian uh, or an Aussie as they say, and uh, I was born in a very, very small country town in the bush, 200-odd mile from Melbourne, on the Murray River, and we had a, an Aboriginal settlement on the other embankment. And uh, to me, it was a bit like the old Huckleberry Finn days. <laughs> we uh, put ropes on gum trees and swung into rivers and hunted for snakes and uh, chased rabbits and it was a it was a great upbringing and I'm, I'm glad that it was more in the country rather than in the city life even though that's where I ended up working. And your father was um, pretty famous in that area as well wasn't he? He was we were a second generation family originally migrated out from Scotland from uh, you Scottish listeners to a place called uh, Fife or Crail. Know it very well. Faith, yeah. Yes, and uh, he was the uh, great great grandfather was the first Presbyterian minister in South Australia. Somewhere the gene pool got mixed up because <laughs> I didn't follow it for very long. <laughs> yeah, so th that's th that's where it all started then.